What's going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today we have a lot of information in regards to the brand new version 13.0 update coming very shortly to us here on One Piece Treasure Cruise in preparation for the anniversary coming very shortly too. So April 24th is when the new update is going to go live uh, and we just made a video talking about the Pirate King Adventures which is a new piece of content, new game mode coming to the game which is going to introduce uh, new features, new mechanics, uh, new ways to play the game as well as some new additional rewards which are also going to be very useful. Now in today's video I want to be talking about the new mechanic that is coming to the game which is in regards to the new mechanic that will be applied to characters likely the anniversary characters that are going to be coming very soon so one thing i want to bring your attention to very briefly before we like get into this is the last couple of years when we actually have these new gimmicks um that come into the game right before anniversary right so right before the anniversary a few years ago we had the introduction of super types so that was version 10.0 the introduction of super type where they introduced this free to play luffy and these free to play straw hats and they allow you to get additional color affinity throughout the quest but also give you a really nice additional special effect really that occurred in the match and we know that since this update has come out super types and really super classes have been at the forefront of essentially most of the top tier sugo fest exclusive characters and it's been such a mainstay in content really since its introduction it's such a huge update really and this was with the introduction of one of the anniversary celebrations with super type snake man super type katakuri super type blackbeard and super type zabo it was a massive event and a lot of people wanted to get those characters for this new mechanic it was such a such a big deal honestly the next one we had version 11.0 which this update introduced it wasn't really as hyped up as, as some of the other updates but this was the one that introduced the final tap mechanic and we all know how interesting the final tap mechanic definitely is and this was the update that came alongside the anniversary celebration on japan with final tap blue luffy green law and red kid and obviously at this point in time blue luffy has super evolved he's still a god tier unit still really good but you know green law and strength kid those units haven't super evolved yet there's a good opportunity for those units to super evolve at some point and you know those units may get final tap upgrades luffy did get a final tap upgrade as well but obviously since the final tap introduction into the game we've had uh, some pretty good ones uh, we've had a lot of bad ones a lot of bad final taps for sure but I mean, you only have to go as far as Luffy crew to see that how powerful these final taps really can be. And even KDAD, for example, like Kinemon, Denjiro, Ashura, and Dogstorm, that final tap is also very good too. So since this, this update, uh, we've, we've seen a lot of final tap characters release into the game. And we know how powerful this mechanic really is. But it is difficult to level up, of course, requiring those very specific tablets or duplicates of characters to unlock this mechanic. When we move on to version 12.0, we have the introduction of Super Tandem, which was last year's update. So you see that every every new upgrade from 10.0, 11.0, 12.0, we get these big new character mechanics. And Super Tandem, since this release, this has been a huge game changer for not only damage increases, but also really interesting mechanics moving forward. And it's very reminiscent of the original tandem mechanic that they had in the game, but they basically revamped it for new releases. And you can see that it does introduce the new free-to-play Sabo, which was the treasure map of the anniversary that year. And this mechanic is, is, is incredibly strong, and we know how good it is. And we, we know and we've seen that since its release, we've had so many powerful units, especially even just when it released, right? We had the release of Super Tandem Luffy, Super Tandem Kaido. You also had Ace and Yamato, which was a final tap unit, but still a good unit nonetheless. So we know that this new mechanic... Uh, saw lots of play and with the introductory units alongside it with Super Tandem Luffy and also Super Tandem Kaido but now we have version 13.0 which introduces something else so with version 13.0 the new update that is brought about in this update is something titled the Rush Sugo Special Rush Sugo Special so it says you can meet certain requirements during the quest to activate it by spending HP you can deal more attacks. If you miss a tap, the rush will end. Chain the tap combo to unleash amazing flurries of attacks. 
So this is very interesting, the Rush Sugo Special. Um, now, it does mention that it is a Sugo Special, so I don't know if this means, you know, you have to activate the character special, and during the turn that you've activated the special, that is when you can get access to this to the rush mechanic. And if you just look at the graphic in the middle here, you can see that you tap a perfect, but then you get a rush, then you get another rush, and then you get a finish. So this is massive, right? This means that you can get the one character to attack multiple different times. Now, you don't have to be Einstein to figure out that this has a lot of implications for the amount of damage output that characters are going to be able to be doing moving forward. Now, another thing that also needs a bit of clarification is, does the character have to attack last in the chain in order to activate this? Because if that is the case, it basically nullifies final taps. It means that you have to really decide, do you want to have your final tap character to attack last or do you want to do your rush special um if, if this character works in such a way where you can activate your rush attack in the middle of a chain and still finish on a final tap that would be amazing and because you, you just think about it right if this character can hit a perfect then attack with a rush then rush again and then finish so this one character can attack four different times and you have to think if you have you know your attack boost or boost color affinity your chain the chain is the biggest thing because if this character is attacking three additional times does this actually add to the chain multiplier or maybe because this character is still attacking and it's still the one character maybe the chain multiplier doesn't increase but if this adds to the chain multiplier it means the amount of damage you can get is going to just blast out of proportion right because the chain multiply can just go to crazy crazy numbers so that is also something that has to be answered right but then you got to think even if you activate a super tandem prior to activating the rush special or act or tapping with the rush character it means that you have that additional multiplier of even if you activate nami for example nami's super tandem and you had robin on your team to get the double conditional you get the conditional buff you get the super tandem buff attack orb chain affinity conditional boosts and all of these things adding up and you're attacking like all these additional times this has the potential to be absolutely absurd and we thought that super tandem was massive for additional damage for the crew depending on what character releases with this mechanic we could see some pretty absurd stuff and like i'm legit saying like we could be seeing characters with one unit by themselves with a rush special by themselves doing upwards of like hundreds of, of billions of damage by themselves like this could be legitimately insane so I, I really don't know what to expect, but another thing that, that really begs the question is, you know, they bring out this new mechanic, like what characters could really fit this kind of Rush Sugo Rush special? The first thing that actually came to mind, surprisingly, was Snake Man Luffy, right? Because Snake Man Luffy has that ability of, you know, attacking over and over and over again, as we've seen with his Black Mamba. And I think it'd be really cool if we saw a Snake Man Luffy and like a, like a Snake Man versus Katakuri kind of celebration. I know I'm talking about my man, Mr. Slam Jam, when he has no relevance in, in the One Piece Treasure Cruise, at least right now. But, I mean, just something like that would be really cool. And, I mean, I could potentially a Sanji character or a Zora character with this Rush special that can just launch these flurries of attacks over and over. This It's just really cool. And I, I'm very, very excited to see what they're going to do with it. Another thing as well is that likely the new free-to-play treasure map character that we're getting during the anniversary month will probably have this mechanic as well and i guess again it's it's something that needs to be asked you know we need it we need to get more clarification is this a potential ability like a final tap or a super tandem because that would require us to use tablets to level it up or duplicates to level up the ability of this sugo rush special <sighs> look the way that things have gone in the last few years with the introduction of super tandems and final taps i would guess that this is going to be a potential ability that you level up and the way that I would think that it works is, is you activate the character's special, and then if you fulfill the requirement of the Sugo Rush, whether it be having certain characters on the team, or certain effects or gimmicks occurred, then you can get this to activate. But again, you also actually need to spend your HP in order to get this mechanic to activate. So maybe, you know, at level one, it, it actually takes up more HP for you to activate the Sugo Rush, but then maybe as you level it up, 
maybe the potency of the of the uh, sugo rush will, will increase so it requires less hp taken away from your crew to activate these rush gimmicks so maybe you can get more taps in the more level ups you get something along those lines but again <laughs> there's so many different questions here because it means that if you have a crew that is that is solely focused around having low hp then this mechanic is is really bad because if you have no hp to spend then you can't get these sugo rushes to activate you know characters like you know legend killer super tandem kid super type katakuri like these these crews that require you to have low hp thresholds they're not going to work with this mechanic so maybe we'll have to wait and see how things go but yeah, I just think that uh, there is potential for this to work. I'm just very interested to see not only how this works, how it's implemented on characters, but what characters are going to get it as well. So we'll have to wait and see how things move on. But that is going to wrap it up for me. That's just the speculation that we have for the brand new uh, Rush Sugo special. Let me know your thoughts and opinions about this brand new update down below in the comment section. This is a huge talking point here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. And if you guys did, make sure to go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. On that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.